All right, this might be a pretty quick video, but it's something I've wanted to make a video on for a while. And that is how to shoot better when you're duck hunting. I get questions a lot from people asking me how they can improve their shooting when they're out in the field hunting. And there's one thing that I've found that really helps me and has helped everybody else that I've told this to, and that is what I'm gonna talk about in today's video. But before we get too far into this, make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. Duck hunting season's coming up pretty fast. Uh, it's a weird year right now. Normally at this time of year, I've gone on quite a few hunts, but that is not the case. The schedule has been packed with other things. I've got this little squirt down here, taking up quite a bit of time, trying to get her ready for uh, duck season to show up. So that's why I haven't been hunting. Luckily, I haven't heard super great reports about the duck migration so far this year, so I haven't really missed out on quite a bit, but I'm kind of bummed that I haven't gotten to go out. So if you're a person who struggles with shooting, this one tip can help you out tremendously. And that is to pick your bird. Now, when I say that, and this can apply to anything that you're doing, whether it's uh, duck hunting, goose hunting, whatever. Whenever you're watching a video, so let's just say just watching a hunting video, this will help you out in the field. So what I was taught to do is like we're watching a hunting TV show, they're hunting geese or whatever. When you're watching that group of birds come in, they've got it all zoomed in real nice on that, on that group. Pick out your bird. Pick one bird out of that group. And as that group is coming into the set, and then the guys pull up and shoot, stay on that bird until that bird falls, and then pick another bird. A lot of times what can happen is when you're in the field hunting, you get this big group of birds to come in, and it, you can't pick one. You, it's time to pull up and shoot, and you don't know where you're going to shoot. It's happened to me before plenty of times. So this is what I like to do. Let's go ahead and take a look at this clip. First of all, this, this is a clip just basic. I haven't done anything to it. So we're just watching this group of geese come into the set. Now they're coming in nice and pretty. And then we pull up to shoot. Okay, so that may, that's a lot to look at. I mean, that's a small group. But if you're a group, if you're hunting with like three guys, it's important to know one, your shooting lanes, but also knowing which bird you're gonna pull up on. Here is what I would do if I'm on the far right of the blind. I've got this little blur around everything else, blocking it out, it doesn't exist. I'm just watching my one bird that crisscrossed. I'm just focused on that far right bird until it's time to pull up and shoot. Now here it is again without the blur. You get to see everything else going on. And they come crisscross, I'm still on that one bird because it's in my shooting lane. So it's important to know what's in your lane. You pull up and shoot. If you're on the far right, you're shooting the bird that is on the far right. So now let's go ahead and take a look at this clip. There's a lot more birds coming in. So we got to figure out, okay, where am I sitting in the blind? Which bird am I? You pull up and shoot. That's a lot of birds to pick out and shoot. So you got to pick your bird as it's coming in. So here we go. I've got my one bird picked out. Just keeping a close eye on it as it's coming in. I think in this scenario, I'm kind of in the middle of the blind. And I'm on my bird, on my bird, on my bird. That's important to do. You gotta make sure you just watch that bird because then you know, as you're pulling up out of the blind, shouldering your gun, you are on that bird. It's no, uh, which one do I shoot? It will help you out a lot because those first couple of seconds as you're pulling up to shoot are the most important. So let's take a look at another little clip here. All right, a little smaller group finishing in. You just gotta pick your one bird. And in this scenario, there's other birds dropping, but this one has not dropped yet. So you gotta stay on that bird until you see it fall, and then you switch over to the next one. So here it is once again, without a blur around it. Pull up, oh, now it drops, now we're switching to another one. So that is a quick tip to help you guys out with your shooting. Make sure as a group is coming in, you got a 10 pack coming in. You pick that one green head. You watch that one green head work its way all the way in. And if it moves out of your, your side or your shooting lane, just switch, pick another bird. And up until the point where the shot gets called and then you pull up on that bird that you've been watching that whole time. I'm, I, I'm telling you guys, it will help you out tremendously because you're knowing exactly what you're going to be shooting. You're not gonna pull up and just have that little panic going, where do I aim? 
you've got that one bird you're looking at and you're gonna shoot. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Make sure to leave me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, check out the podcast, follow me on my social media, all that good stuff, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.